Mother of Celestia, that just happened. The Tree of Harmony is as gone as Twilight's old treehouse. And speaking of treehouses, there's a new one that came from the Tree of Harmony, kind of? Magic is weird, okay? And before all this drama, the Tree of Harmony started speaking. Anyone who missed those episodes, yes, you heard me right. This thing has lines. Well, technically, it's the spirit of the tree, manifesting itself as freaky astral twilight here. The spirit of harmony, if you will, since its existence clearly doesn't depend on the tree. This thing has been pulling a lot of stunts recently, don't think I didn't notice. But in the context of what's happening magically in this world, it makes a mind-blowing amount of sense. To really understand what's going on here, we need to look at the student six. So there's something very obviously familiar about them. Six characters going on magical adventures? We've seen this before. Twice. At first glance, this may seem like the same song, third verse. But the student six are missing something that the other two groups have in spades. Connections to the elements of harmony. But what about the time the Tree of Harmony saved them in school rays? Each student was pulled out of the orb and held in the air by a different color. Can't we use those colors to draw connections? Well, we can try to connect the dots. Silverstream as laughter. Okay, fine, that's a no-brainer. Yona as honesty also adds up. She's easily the bluntest of the six. Gallus as magic, Smolder as loyalty, and Sandbar as kindness. Those connections seem arbitrary and interchangeable, but okay. Finally, Ocellus as generosity. This one is actually perfect. As a reformed changeling, she went from stealing love selfishly to giving it generously. An accurate and really poetic connection. Maybe I'm a bit biased, but the big problem with the past four examples is they're not consistent with another time the Tree of Harmony did something similar. Similar. Here's where things start to break down. In Uprooted, the spirit uses a shared dream between the six to alert them to the tree's condition. Notice the colors. Silver Surfer and Yona are still laughter and honesty respectively, but the others have been swapped. Ocellus is now kindness. Her gentle nature is comparable to Fluttershy's, so it's fitting, but different. Smolder is now generosity. Again, poetics and dragons are stereotypically greedy hoarders, but still different. Sandbar is magic? Sure, he's a pony, but Ocellus rightly points out that ponies aren't the only magical beings. It seems like all living beings have some sort of magic. It's really interchangeable, but whatever. Now, I love Gallus' loyalty for the same reason I love Ocellus or Smolder as generosity. It's a poetic breaking of stereotypes, since griffins are thought of to have shallow and weak connections with others. Gallus' loyal friendships demonstrate that's not the case. But as much as I like most of those connections, they're still inconsistent. Things get even more mixed up in what lies beneath. The Spirit of Harmony was supposedly testing the Student Six on their greatest fears, but it seems to me like it was sneaking element tests in there as well. Apparently, Sandbar's greatest fear is disobeying authorities? Maybe, but it really seems more like the Spirit was testing his loyalty to his friends. Smolder's test seems more like a test in honesty, and Yona's in kindness. As for Quicksilver, Gallus, and Ocellus, their tests don't align with any elements in a way that isn't a stretch. But those first three are different connections to either of the other examples, giving us yet another layer of confusion. Now that we've looked at everything, what element of harmony do each of the student's six represent? All of them and none of them. This bamboozled me for a while, but the simplest answer is, unlike the pillars or the main six, the students just don't represent the elements one to one. Except for maybe a silver quill, but the point still stands. Now I don't see this as a flaw with them. In fact, when you think about it, the physical elements are gone, so it doesn't even matter who matches what best. The elements are only important as qualities that keep them together, not as physical relics that each one represents. That's because their relationship with the spirit of harmony goes beyond the tree and beyond the physical elements themselves. Themselves. No one else has ever had this kind of connection to the Spirit of Harmony. But that leads to the next question, why? Think about it, in the very first episode, the elements of Harmony latched onto the main six, personalizing to them. In season four, when the personalized elements were returned to the tree, it seemed to latch onto the main six as well. The tree's magic aura took on the color of the main six's coats. As it's grown and changed recently, it's even able to take the form of Twilight for Pete's sake. Those are pretty significant connections, and they're not even the ponies who planted the tree in the first place. The Tree of Harmony can't have forgotten about the pillars. All 12 of these ponies are closely connected and fundamentally tied to the tree, and yet, the Spirit of Harmony chose these six to appear to, these six to test, and these six to trust with rebuilding itself. If they don't have any solid connections with the elements, what does the Spirit of Harmony like so dang much about them? This is where we get into the nature of magic. 
Remember in my last video when I was talking about the friendship fire and how that first Earth Pony Pegasus unicorn friendship was so magically significant? I think something similar is going on here. You see, magic in this world works off of harmony. I mean, the show is called Friendship is Magic for a reason. But what actually is harmony? This is important to understand. It's different things working together to form a new, complex, and beautiful whole. Without differences, there is no harmony to be had, and you can't get more different than this. If the harmony between different types of ponies is powerful, then this is some next level stuff. After all, Cozy Glow was able to drain pretty much all magic from Equestria just by utilizing magic artifacts from each of their six cultures. Magically speaking, it makes total sense that the tree would favor them over the main six or pillars. I'm convinced that's definitely one aspect of this, but it's pretty clear that the Spirit of Harmony has something specific in mind for the students as well. Think about what the Spirit of Harmony did in seasons four and five. It made a box, which made a castle, which made a map that the main six used to spread friendship. But ultimately, it was the main six who caused those changes. They ushered in this new manifestation of the Spirit of Harmony. Something very similar is happening now with the Student Six. They're ushering in this new manifestation of the Spirit of Harmony. The new treehouse must have some similar goal, to somehow spread light and friendship across the land through the Student Six. As to how that's gonna happen, I think I have a pretty good idea. With the Royal Sisters retiring, the main six will soon be ruling Equestria, right? Well, that's Equestria, Ponydom. There's a lot of other systems of rule out there, headed by the likes of King Thorax, Prince Rutherford, Dragon Lord Ember, Queen Novo, and certainly others. We learned from school days that relations are delicate. When the Student Six went missing, everyone almost went to war. That's how little trust and cooperation there is between these kingdoms. Something's gotta unite them as their relations grow closer. And I bet this is what the Spirit of Harmony is planning for. This world's united nations. That's what I think this new Treehouse of Harmony is. It's a hub for inter-kingdom relations and a place to resolve conflict between species. Unlike the castle, which was brought about by just ponies, the Treehouse was brought about by many species, making it the perfect place for everyone to meet. Just look at how the Spirit of Harmony explains the purpose of the Treehouse. You've got mail. Whenever you seek solace, come here. Your friendship and the friendship of future generations will always be safe within these walls. Your friendship will be safe from what? Solace from what? Perhaps the tensions that come with different cultures interacting. Ponies are very different from yaks, are very different from dragons, are very different from changelings, so on and so forth. Getting along will not be a cakewalk, that's for sure. But just like Starlight's Village learned, diversity is a huge strength, not a weakness. The Spirit of Harmony knows that and recognizes that there is no one better to put in charge of such a peacekeeping organization than the Student Six. This group of friends is living proof that everyone can get along. Maybe the Treehouse will get its own map, highlighting squabbles between two species and sending those corresponding students as diplomats. Or maybe the Spirit of Harmony will automatically teleport the problems to them in the Treehouse. That'd be a fun switch up. Or maybe I'm wrong about all of this. I'm honestly so excited to find out. This has really piqued my curiosity. Regardless, I think we'll find that Sombra destroying the tree and elements was ultimately a good thing for Equestria. Which makes you wonder if, maybe, this was by design. Isn't it awfully suspicious how the tree and elements were destroyed? The elements of Harmony were used on Sombra, disintegrating him. All was well and good until Sombra burst through the tree like the Kool-Aid Man. How was someone who just had the elements of Harmony used on them able to do that? His explanation was that you led me right to the source of your power. As if the elements sent him straight to the Tree of Harmony without actually incapacitating him. In fact, that's exactly what they did. It's a little too convenient for Sombra, don't you think? The elements turned Discord to stone, sent Nightmare Moon to the moon, turned Nightmare Moon back into Luna, turned Discord to stone again, and turned him back from stone. Other villains have been dealt with in other ways besides having the elements used on them directly, but not once, not once has any magic of friendship sent a still powerful villain to the unprotected Tree of Harmony. Before now, at least. And I say the tree was unprotected, but remember that this thing had the power to melt Chrysalis's clones. It's also been shown to have some level of foresight. So I just can't believe this could have happened by sheer accident. What's way more likely is that the Spirit of Harmony deliberately sent Sombra to the tree, knowing full well he would destroy it. In effect, it was the Spirit of Harmony that killed the tree and the elements. Now hold up, even if something better than the tree was coming, that doesn't mean the tree had to be destroyed. The castle and map, for example, they came as extensions of the Tree of Harmony, while the treehouse seems to be a replacement, rising from the crudely cut and paste ashes of its former self. But why? Why? Because I don't think the Spirit of Harmony even liked the tree or elements to begin with. Let's start with the elements. There's been a long running trend in the show of a perceived dependence on the elements of Harmony, like they're the end all be all. As long as the main six have them, everything will be okay. And if not, well, 
you're doomed. Of course, this has been proven wrong time after time. And yet, it doesn't seem to stick. Back in season four, when Twilight suggested saving the tree by sacrificing the elements, the other five started freaking out about what they were gonna do without them. Twilight, the elements of harmony, they're what keep us connected no matter what. You're right about one thing, Applejack. The elements of harmony did bring us together, but it isn't the elements that will keep us connected. It's our friendship, and it's more important and more powerful than any magic. And here she is five seasons later, still not getting it. The spirit of harmony keeps telling you guys, but y'all just don't seem to remember. Friendship is magic, and that can't be taken away. So you see what I did there? Cause, cause, cause that's what they, they, they said to Sombra. You just said everything you need to hear. The reason I think the spirit of harmony wants to do away with the physical elements is it's tired of this focus on magic artifacts instead of the true source of their power. It's friendship, stupid. The second time the main six took on Sombra, they didn't have the elements or the tree. Yet the power of their friendship alone was more than enough. So it doesn't even seem like Equestria is gonna miss these things. The physical elements had served their purpose and just became a distraction, causing more more harm than good. As Twilight said, the elements are still with us in their own way, just not in the form that kept tripping them up. That explains why the spirit of harmony would want to eliminate the elements. But why would it want to trim the tree? Trim, trim the tree, trim, trim the tree, trim, trim, sorry. Basically, because it's only equestrian. This whole time, since the beginning of the show, we've been dealing with equestrian magic. The tree was planted, cultivated, and maintained by ponies. And you can tell the Spirit of Harmony has been trying to break away from that, broadening out the map's horizons to include lands outside Equestria, sending a non-pony on the map. The Spirit of Harmony is just trying to, pardon the pun, branch out. This new change, ushered in by many species, is an expansion into all the other types of magic and how they can interact. The purpose of Sombra's destruction is to make room for a new focus. This pony-made thing is no longer the center of it all. This is. Nothing against ponies, of course. In fact, one helped to make it. But what matters is that this is universal. Just like how the three tribes integrated into one society, it seems like all species are becoming more tightly knit than ever. It's a new era of magic. And with this bigger picture in mind, pruning the tree through Sombra was the most reasonable thing for the Spirit of Harmony to do. But what do you guys think? About the student's future role in Equestria? About the Spirit of Harmony's role in recent events? Or anything else? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Personally, like we saw in Season 4, I think everything that's happened was all part of the Spirit of Harmony's master plan, saying goodbye to its past so it can say hello to its future. And in that sense, I think the Tree of Harmony is meant to be a metaphor for this entire show. When the student six were building their makeshift treehouse, they were singing about the tree. Listen to some of these lyrics. The tree brought us together, and even though it's gone, our monument of friendship can make the gift live on. The show brought us together, and even though it's ending soon, the community it fostered will keep going strong. And later, it's hard to say farewell to something you hold dear, but goodbye isn't forever as long as we are here. This seems to be just as much about our relationship to the show as it is about their relationship to the tree. In this metaphor, the new treehouse represents whatever the future holds for MLP. The franchise as a whole isn't ending, just the Friendship is Magic iteration of it. And though it'll be sad to see it go, with every ending comes a new beginning. So here's to where we've been, and where we're going. This has been the Brony Notion, signing out until next time. Brohoof!